Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to vlog today and then I was kind of going over my head the different kinds of vlogs I could do and then I realized we haven't done a write with me in a really long time and that's pretty much going to be the focus of today is writing so I figured we should bring that back because I had originally planned on making that a series and then I only ever did one of them. My first write with me was while I was writing the rough draft of a different project over the summer. Now I am working on revisions. I am in the fifth draft of a different project so it's going to be a very different process today so I think it'll make for an interesting video. If you want to learn any more about the project that I am working on in this video, I have an entire video talking about it so I can link that down below in the description as well as just like the playlist for all of my writing videos. But yeah today is Thursday. It is 9 30 in the morning. I have the day off from work so I have all day today. I really want to focus on getting a ton of progress done with this project today because I've been so tired when I get home from work the rest of the week that like working on this is the last thing I want to do so I've only been working on it really on the weekends so I really want to get a good chunk of progress of this done today. I have some YouTube videos that I need to film and I want to read for fun for a little bit and I have a chiropractor appointment but that's pretty much it that's going on for today. So I've already gotten all of my comments back from my at least one of my beta readers for like the whole draft. So I have all of her major comments like chapter by chapter in my notebook and then on my laptop I started making a list of all of the changes that I'm going to want to focus on throughout the draft like subplots and things like that that need to be developed just like every little thing that needs to happen in this next revision and so what I think the first step for this is going to do I've been doing this in between every single draft actually is make a new outline which is kind of funny I don't outline a lot before writing but I outline a lot in between writing which I think is kind of interesting so the draft has changed pretty significantly from draft four and so that means chapters aren't where they were originally like there's new chapters shoved in there things have been moved around things have been added things have been taken away characters have been added to scenes that weren't there in the first place things like that and so i'm gonna go through and make a new outline of what the book actually looks like now that way i kind of have this map that I can look at to kind of figure out where things need to go when I'm revising, if that makes sense. My plan is to go to Starbucks and sit there for a couple of hours because I'm having a hard time focusing at home. So I think putting myself in a new location and only bringing my writing stuff with me will like force me to focus on that for at least a couple of hours. And I wanna at least knock out making this outline. Even if I don't make any changes to the actual draft, this outline is going to be a big piece of how I go into revisions. I've already been revising like as the feedback has kind of filtered in from my beta readers, so I've been like making big changes, but now we have these consistency changes, so they're things that are going to have to go throughout like the entire manuscript. So I'm kind of thinking of this almost as like a different revision phase. But anyway, for the outline, what I'm going to do is break it up by chapter obviously, right? What happens in that chapter, like where the location is, what characters are in there, and what subplots are involved in that chapter. Like, am I trying to develop this relationship? Like what is that chapter accomplishing? basically. And then comparing that to my list of things that I need to change, I think it'll be helpful just to kind of see where everything is, if that makes sense. I'm a very visual person, so I kind of like to see that and I might also recreate my sticky note thing that I had on the wall in a previous vlog where I had like a sticky note for each chapter and they were different colors for different subplots and that kind of helped me visualize things. So I might do that again after I finish this outline just so I can kind of get my bearings before I dive back in to revise because it's not like a lot of big things, but it's a lot of small things that add up to a lot of changes if that makes sense. But I kind of have a feeling this is going to be my last round of major revisions and then it'll just be like line edits, things like that. So yeah, this is a really long intro. That was not the intent. I just thought I would give you a background for what this vlog is going to be. I'm going to get my stuff packed up and we can head to Starbucks and get started and hopefully finish this outline today. So I just got out of Starbucks. I didn't film in there at all. One, because I was like really focused on what I was doing. Also, it was really busy. There were like a lot of people in there. I figured like mid-morning on a Thursday, it would be dead. It was super busy. And this guy sat down next to me and he was like talking really loudly on his phone and I was just getting annoyed. So I left. It's like 11 o'clock now. So I was there for like an hour and a half. But I got a really good amount of work done. I finished a very bare bones outline but it's a full outline and I guess I'll show you like when I get home so you can actually like see what I did but it was very helpful I had a list of all of the things that I needed to work on at the top of the page so I could like look back at them 
And like I said, I made the whole outline with like what happens in the chapter, what characters are in the chapter, and what subplots are like being furthered or what relationships are being furthered. Like what is the purpose of this chapter? And then what I did was I used the like comment feature on Word where you can like add a little comment off to the side within the outline of like places that I thought I could fix the problems, like places I thought I could insert things to do the revisions and stuff. So it's very, it's a very like marked up document now, but it was actually really helpful figuring out where I need to fix these things and what I'm gonna do. I was using my old outline from draft four sort of as a reference as I was going as well as just like looking in the document itself. And from draft four to draft five, it used to be 28 chapters and now it's 35. That's like not even counting for the extra scenes that I put in the chapters that were already there. Like it's gotten so much longer. It's over 80,000 words now, which is kind of crazy because when I went back I think draft three was like 59,000. Like it's gotten so much longer. But yeah, that was a really necessary work session. I've been like meaning to do that for a while. So that was really helpful. Now I gotta get back because I have to go to the chiropractor this afternoon. I am like feeling super productive and like super in the mood to work on this. So now that I've got a nice plan set out for me, I might sit down and like actually start implementing some of these changes. Okay, so just to kind of give you like a visual of what I was talking about, I changed the font to this like weird symbol thing so you can actually read any spoilers or anything, but hopefully you can still kind of get the gist. So here at the top, this was my list of everything that I wanted to work on. And then starting here, you can see these, I think these are like the numbers that I had. Um, and I had like the description of what was happening and then I had like subheading A, characters, subheading B, subplots. And then off to the side, these were the comments I made of like, this is where this could change and like things like that. Or like, this is where I could add this. Hopefully that makes sense, but. This has been a super helpful system for me is making a new outline every time I make like a major revision because so many things change for me, at least draft to draft. I have a bad tendency of having characters just like disappear for long periods of time. And so having them kind of listed out in this outline. It's been very helpful and I'm actually thinking of highlighting each character in a different color so I can visually see like which characters are consistent throughout and which characters might just disappear for like 100 pages at a time because that happened to the dad character for this book and one of my beta readers was like he's just like not in this book like at all and I was like you right he's not and then once I have all of these changes done and I'm pretty happy with it I'm just gonna go like chapter by chapter scene by scene and look at like the actual writing part, which is funny. I'm in like draft five and I haven't done that yet. Like I've been obviously focused on like plot things and structural things. And so now after this, it's gonna be my favorite part of the process. I get to like sit down and like actually look at the quality of the writing and like revise to make everything pretty. I have a weird way of thinking of it. I actually think there's like a famous like on writing book that describes writing this way, but I don't actually think I've read it. Maybe I've just like subconsciously picked up this theory is when you're writing, you're like a sculptor. And so I kind of think of it as like, you're like building the body of this book. And once you get past that, and once every body part is in the right place and you've like figured out how to get everything functioning well, then when you go in to make like the writing look good and like the line edits and everything like that, you're like putting makeup on it and like you're doing the body's hair and you're just making it look pretty, but that's the last step. You need to make sure everything's in place before you try and make it look nice. I don't know, that's just the way that I think of it. I trade in my truth for some robbers and he's playing Batman, but he's gonna rob him. Yeah. I got the Glock in my robbery. 17 shots, no 38, yeah, I got the Glock in my robbery, 17 shots, no 38, yeah, she's fine, wondering will she be mine, walk past, I press, rewind, see that ass one more time. So I'm just on my way back from the chiropractor, that was so overdue, I went in there and he was like, oh like what did you do to yourself i'm like i don't even know man i don't even know so i'm gonna be really sore for the rest of the day i'm gonna go home and ice it but i was really productive beforehand i filmed one of the videos i'm hoping to film one more when i get back and i worked a little bit more on my book i finished the outline earlier and i was like making sort of like a to-do list of like the order that i wanted to do the revisions and what was the most pressing and which ones i thought would be better to do first in case they did you know, change things. So yeah, that's really just my plans for the rest of the afternoon. So it's a bit later now, it's almost six o'clock, but I got like everything else that I wanted to get done for the day done. I filmed two videos and I finished the rough edit of both of them, plus I'm filming this video, so I feel like it's been a productive day. I haven't worked on the book since we spoke last, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm all set up and really all there is to do is just dive in and 
start making the revisions. It's gonna be a long process and I'm probably just gonna jump around a lot. If you are ever in need of a good writing playlist or a playlist that will just help you focus, I've been listening to Focus Flow on Spotify and I really like it. Okay, so it's now eight o'clock. Things have been productive. At first I started by like jumping around and just making the changes where I had marked them in the outline, but then it just started to feel like really disorganized and I wasn't wasn't jamming with it so I decided to just go like chronologically and just start from the start of the book and that way I could also just kind of like tweak little things as I went and I've been liking that a lot more but I'm glad I haven't like sat down to read through it since I started this whole thing with the beta readers like a month two months ago and i had gotten in like a bad mood with the book where you're in that mood where you're just like oh my god I'm such a terrible writer everything is crap and reading through it and like having the flow of reading it in order and like getting into the rhythm of the story I was like oh this actually isn't that bad. <laughs> so that was nice. I got through the first three chapters, so the first like 25 pages of tweaking things, and I think I'm gonna call it a night. Take the rest of the night off, do some reading, just kind of chill out, and then I will jump back into this tomorrow. So with that said, obviously I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this second Write With Me vlog. If you guys are also writers and you're working on something right now, let me know down in the comments where you are in the process. I'd be super interested to know, or just like tell me about your process. I'd be interested. It's probably very different from mine. But yeah, like I said at the beginning, I'll have a link to all of my other writing stuff down below in the description if you want to go check it out, as well as my social media and all of that good stuff. And other than that, I will just see you guys in my next video very, very soon. Bye. So hit me. So hit me. Hit me. First a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With you, it's